friends welcome back to go to development tutorial video till now uh, we have gone through different areas like uh, the module structure and uh, uh, object relationship model and model fields like uh, simple fields reserved fields and uh, uh, how we can uh, define these fields in a user interface using basic views and action menus etc and uh, now uh, in the last two videos we have covered uh, relations relational fields like many to one many to many one to many and uh, uh, inheritance different type of inheritance we have uh, all we have gone through now uh, in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the compute fields and uh, uh, how uh, it will be working okay so far uh, all the fields that we have discussed uh, until now have been stored directly in the database and uh, we read that uh, data directly from the database some cases uh, we need that uh, data that are computed from another fields and in that case the data is not retrieved from the uh, database but uh, it will be computed when we load the user interface or uh, calling a method of that model okay it will uh, it will re uh, retrieve the data uh, by computing based on uh, the other fields on the fly okay so uh, let's get into the uh, code in our open academy module i have already uh, add one data for the as an example so <clears throat> in this example i have added a taken seats this is our field okay so uh, we uh, under the session we have seats it's a integer field or uh, we can enter the data into it and uh, we have attendees that will be come that will come under the attendee IDs and here we have defined a new field it's called taken seats uh, it has the follow type but this one is a new thing that we are going to discuss now so this field have an attribute called compute and the value of that attribute is taken seats so this taken seats is a method under this class okay you see uh, this function uh, this is a method under this class open academy dot session so compute attribute have the value of a compute method have a value of a method name okay <coughs> so uh, let's uh, you can have a look at this uh, method and what it it is doing so uh, it will take the computation method it simply sets a value of the field to compute on every record in this in this table okay so for our in self uh, it takes uh, each record of each record in self if not r dot seats r dot taken seats will be uh, zero because uh, if the uh, seats are not defined the taken seats will be zero else r dot seats 
is equal to r dot taken c is equal to 100 into length of r dot at id is divided by r dot 6 so it's, it's taking a uh, percentage of uh, attendees count based on the 6 here uh, Here this uh, self is a record set that means a collection of records uh, it uh, uh, supports all the uh, standard python operations uh, that can be done on uh, sets record sets and uh, uh, the this loop iterates over all the elements all the given records in that record set one by one okay then uh, one thing that we have to discuss about is this depends so uh, it is a decorator at the at the right api dot depends and we have given seeds and attendee ids that means uh, this value of a computer field that means the taken seeds is depends upon these two fields that means the taken seeds depends upon the seeds total seeds available and the number of attendees that uh, are already registered in this example okay now uh, we have uh, added a compute field in our object and uh, the difference with the actual field is it is not stored in the database it is computed on the fly when we call uh, methods uh, of this object Le uh, and uh, let's we can define this field in our user interface what we have done is i have added taken seeds under here in our project uh, session form the taken seeds is here and the widget is progress bar i have a, a widget provided widget attribute is provided it's a, so this taken seeds will be shown as a progress bar and also i have added this in the session tree taken seeds progress bar let's update our module and check what changes it will bring to our module This is the session one or oh, we have a progress bar now and the percentage is given here session we have a number of seats is 20 and two uh, attendees are added if you want if you add more attendees like uh, take over it it became 50 percent you see uh, it's It's happening in real time. Okay. Here yeah, uh, it's uh, zero percentage. If I add some attendees into it, number of sorry, uh, it's another condition. The number of seats is zero. That's why uh, the total taken seats is zero percentage. So if I add ten, it will become twenty. Okay, that uh, this is how the compute field works. Uh, 
uh, we can have a look at the our database Open Academy session. You see, uh, under this column, we don't have uh, the taken seeds field. You see, you cannot see that in our database. There are uh, many other attributes for a uh, computed field. Uh, sometimes we we may have to store the data in the database in that case we can use uh, one attribute called store is equal to true uh, we can have a small uh, quick look at the fields is uh, attributes dot get computer other you can check uh, in the fields dot py file for more information about the compute field you see uh, by default the computer fields are not stored computer in computer in super user mode if stored not copied and removed so <coughs> this uh, computer fields are not stored in the database in by default uh, it will be computed in super user mode if stored uh, not copied and read only it, uh, it the fields will be read only so uh, that's the common structure of that attribute the compute attribute I hope you have uh, understood about the compute fields and uh, uh, and uh, dependence API dot depends then uh, in the next session, uh, we are going to talk about the default value, how we can uh, provide a default value for a field. Hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.